starting to clear up all the debris. It's taking a lot longer than I thought. I mean, with all the fuel we got from the military base, I mean, I thought we'd have enough to keep most of these trucks up and running, but it really wasn't as much as I thought there was going to be. <sighs> yeah. Robinson's group at Amelia's grave. <sighs> got the flower, then the pot to put it in, so... <sighs> Better go and pay my respects. <clears throat> uh, hi. How did this happen? We're not, we're not exactly sure, but I'm headed to Francine now to get the autopsy report. First Doug is involved with the silence, and now this? What's next? I'm not sure. But whatever it is, I don't think it's going to be good. And you told us that this place was safe. Because it is, right? I mean, but I, I told you guys before you got here that we were having issues with the silenced. Yeah, well, we were better off out there. Maybe you were. But when we came across you, you were all injured. And I mean, you were heading here anyway. Big mistake on our part. I get why you think that. And if you want to blame me, go right ahead, okay? But I am truly sorry for what happened to Amelia. We'll accept that when you find out how and why this happened. I will. And when I do, you will be the first people I inform. We'll be here. I also just want to say, um, don't, don't give up on this place, on us. Not yet. Okay, I, I think, I think we're going to need each other for whatever comes next. You're expecting a fight. I'm expecting something. I don't know what exactly, but you've fought the silenced first hand, so that experience is going to be needed. If you find out that they were the cause of what happened to Amelia, don't you worry. Our expertise will be put to good use. I don't doubt that. Anyway, um, I brought some flowers for Amelia. Thank you. Of course. I'll, uh, I'll lay him down, then head straight to the hospital. I didn't really know what to get her exactly. I was looking for a green flower, you know, but I, I couldn't find one, you know, because I suppose green is a sort of peaceful colour. I don't, I don't really know. But I managed to find this daisy, which is, I don't know, I figured the white could represent peace. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm sorry. I, I think it's a nice flower, though. I just wanted to pay my respects and um, wanted to say to all of you, and Anne specifically, I am truly, truly sorry this happened. I, I never... Never wanted for any of this. So, I'm sorry. And, um, I'll leave you all be, okay? If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me, okay? <sighs> I mean, it never gets easier, does it? I mean, you get used to people dying and being out of your lives, but it never gets easier. It's always just as hard and even Amelia that well. I mean, you just don't, you don't want kids to be dying. You know, especially, especially in that way. I mean, I can't, I'm, I mean, I was a bit distracted with the whole building collapsing and checking for other people that were injured, but can't get the image of her out of my head. And I mean, I know that the explosion must have been what killed her, but 
Why would her head and arm go? I don't. I mean, I'm now going to find out. France is there. Frank, too. I suppose let's find out, right? Hey, Frank. Good to see you. Um, <clears throat> hey, France. Is everything okay? Hello. Do you have the results? Yeah. Well, I mean, it takes quite a lot to put you off, so whatever it is, it must be pretty bad. It is. Do you want the details or the short version? I mean, I can't say I want the details, but definitely think I kind of need them. Right, well, the cause of death was the explosion, of course. Yeah, okay. But based on her injuries, they came from exactly where she was. Not from above or, or from below or in front, but directly where she was. Um, I, I, I can't say I understand. I mean, what does that mean? <sighs> she was... She was the cause of the explosion, because she was the explosive device. Wait, 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 hold on, how? I mean, I know she had that surgical scar, right? Did that have anything to do with it? Exactly. I believe an explosive device was inserted into her skull before being carefully closed up again. We can't know for sure how this happened, because, well, it's nothing to go off of. Yeah, I remember you telling me when they first got here that something could have been removed or, or put in. Yes, but I couldn't know for sure. We don't exactly have x-rays or any state-of-the-art medical equipment we had before the apocalypse. But we know now, though. It's just too late. Yeah, I know. But, um, I suppose, <laughs> don't want to say the only good thing that came out of this, because nothing's good, but Robinson and his people will have answers now, I guess. I just, I don't get it. Who would do that to a child? You know just as well as everyone else that this world brings out the monsters in people. Do you think Robinson and his people could have done this to her? I'm going to be completely honest, from seeing them and listening to them, no, I, I really don't. Then who? I mean, I, I have a few things that keep circulating in my mind, right? I mean, Robinson and his people found Amelia just under a year ago, so probably after the explosive was put in her head, because, you know, they weren't together from the start. I mean, a few of them were, but they found Amelia later on. And then, they found Doug a little while after they found Amelia. And the fact that he's been working with the Silenced makes it seem like too much of a coincidence that he just turned up after she did, right? So stick with me here. What if the Silenced were the ones who put the explosive in Amelia then got her found by Robinson's group. I mean, is is this making sense so far? But why would why would they do that? Well, I mean, the silenced had to have been around for a while, right? We just haven't seen them. I mean, their their first attack was last month, and they were pretty prepared, so they could have been watching this place, you know, waiting and planning. The only issue is that the timelines don't quite add up, right? If they wanted to attack this place, right? I mean, this place wasn't even official until a few months ago. It only got the name New Leaf, like, at the start of last month. I mean, yes, people knew about it, but it wasn't a specific name. So the time when they found Amelia, they wouldn't have known about this place, because it wasn't quite up and running at that point. So, if this was the silenced, 
then the explosive wouldn't have been put in her head specifically for her to come here, right? Just for her to go somewhere, right? We know the silenced want to destroy this place and the places they come across, you know, they want the supplies and they want our people. So maybe they thought if Amelia joined a strong group of people, they'd want a safe place for her to live. Right? So they'd lead her somewhere and subsequently lead them to somewhere full of people. And New Leaf just so happened to be the place they managed to stay at. Then they sent Doug to join Robinson and his people just to keep an eye on Amelia and her progress and how close they were getting to find in a group. I mean, let me know if this has sounded too crazy, but I just... It doesn't... It doesn't add up. I, I, I can't get my head around it. Actually, no, it's it's not crazy. I don't think you're exactly right, but you're definitely onto something there. I do think it's best that you keep this idea to yourself until we know what actually happened, or at least until parts of it can be confirmed. Yeah, I will. I'll even speak to the accomplice myself, ask him a few questions. Speaking of which, has he said anything? Not really. Just the same things over and over. You know, they're coming, which I presume is about his group, and the silencing has begun, which is maybe what he's calling them kidnapping our people. I, I don't really know. But... I don't really know. Well... Then, what does that all mean? I mean, I, <laughs> I honestly don't know, but it definitely doesn't sound good. Yeah, really doesn't. It's been one hell of a Christmas day, huh? Yeah. Can't even get one full day break. I know the feeling. So, need me to go with you to explain what happened to Amelia to Robinson's people? No. I, I told them I'd be the one to tell them, so I will be. Alright. Hang in there. We'll handle the silence just like we've handled everything else. Yeah, I know we will. Thank you, France. You've been a great help with everything recently, you know, making sure everyone's doing alright, and with this too, speeding up the autopsy, you know, from the lab. Which, I suppose, is kind of difficult considering we don't have anyone that did that before. You know, I mean, you were a surgeon, so you haven't really had to do it, but... Thank you for letting me know. I guess I'll have to go and explain that to them. I'll see you around, and Frank, it's been good to see you again, okay? Make sure you protect France. <sighs> okay. Well, that wasn't, um... That wasn't difficult to hear at all. Um, the cause of the explosion was Amelia. She had the explosive device in her head the entire time, so someone must have manually set it off, right? Or remote set it off? Remotely set it off? I don't... I don't know. France didn't say. I suppose there's no way to tell, but... That definitely explains her injuries and... Her lack of body, body parts. Um, now to explain all of that to Robinson's crew. This really isn't... It's not going to be nice. That much I know. <sighs> 